Hi friends. Today I'll talk about a common problem which every hydroponic farmer faces at least once in their lifetime. And maybe many of them face it time again and again in their growing cycles. The problem I am talking about is about development of algae in the growing system. Now, algae as such is not harmful to the plants. Let me give a disclaimer first. Algae as such are not harmful to the plants, but they compete with the plant for the nutrient. And what happens, the nutrient that you want your plant to take, a lot of that gets eaten up by the algae, which increases your cost and reduces the nutrient availability to the plants. So algae as such is not desirable. If we can have it, we should not have algae in our system. Now how to do that? Algae needs two things to survive. One is nutrient, which is food. Just like plants eat nutrient, algae also needs its nutrient. It's also a life form like plants. So one thing is nutrient. And the second thing is sunlight. Now nutrient is something which you cannot cut off because you need to give nutrient to your, for, to your plants to grow. But sunlight is something which is not desirable in your growing system. Your plants roots do not need sunlight. Algae needs sunlight. So if somehow you can cut the amount of sunlight that goes into your system, you can cut down on algae as well. Now intentionally, none of us try to expose our system to sunlight, but what happens many a times due to some circumstances, the system do get exposed. For example, let's say you have got a dead plant and you have replaced it or you have removed it and there is no replacement ready and that planting hole is now open to sun. You might think it's okay, it's only one hole, but that's not right, quite right. What might happen, you might have done some harvesting and there are few holes which are still empty and you might think, okay, we'll fill it later, it doesn't matter. But no, that's not the right approach. Let me show you in this farm what we are facing right now. This particular planting hole, the plant was not here for quite some time. We did it to show you what it can impact. For our, around one week, we have left it like this. Now, if you look at it closely, you can see that algae has developed here. Now, let me lift the lid up and show you that algae has only developed where this particular planting hole is not covered. Other places where we have plants, there is no algae. This has happened just in one week. In one week, so much of algae has developed. Now, if we could have covered this planting hole and stopped sunlight from entering, we would not have faced this algae. For this, we are using these planting covers. You can also use this. These are planting covers that we have devised, that we are using on our farms to cover the holes which are empty to ensure that sunlight do not enter these uh, channels. And by using these covers, we have reduced the algae formation substantially in our channels. Now, if you are also facing such a problem, if you do have instances where the channels are uncovered, there are planting holes which are uncovered, you can also use what we are using and you can also try to reduce algae in your system. That's it from me, friends. Uh, hope this helps you. This has definitely helped us. And if you want to use it, Please give it a try. If you have any queries, any doubts, feel free to reach out to us. Have a good day. Thank you to all of you. Thank you.